and welcome to a brand new reading vlog, also a brand new season. It is the first day of fall, although there's a little bit of debate about when the fall equinox actually is. Uh, people were debating whether it's between like September 20th and the 24th. According to Google, it is September 23rd, which is today. So I'm going with that. Google wins out. <laughs> but I'm so happy. I love fall. This is my favorite season. It's also almost October, which is going to be like the busiest month ever. Oh, my mind is spinning, but I have so much to update you guys on because I decided not to post last week's reading vlog. I just wasn't very proud of it, and I felt like I didn't really need to post it, so I'm not. I'm going to save myself the trouble of editing. I am actually putting up the week before last reading vlog now before my finally fall TV, my finally fall book tag goes out, but... Ma'am, Mondays are the busiest day. My mind is always buzzing, but it's also the best day for me. Probably because I'm doing a lot. I'm feeling very productive. And it's also the brand new start of like school week. So I've got like all that stuff. It's just like a very busy time, but I also love Mondays because it's like it's a fresh start. I can wake up. It's a brand new week, brand new day. So I'm actually reading Alias Grace, which is from the author of The Handmaiden's Tale, which is very popular, the TV show is. And this is about Grace Marks, a murderess. She basically is in prison and she has been charged with the murder of her employer and the housemaid that supposedly was sleeping with the employer. And this is the second to last book I have to read for my Women Lit class. I thought this was the last book. It wasn't. It turns out there's one more book. And it finally came in the mail yesterday, thankfully, because I have to start it next week. And I was kind of freaking out a little bit because I went on the bookstore and they have like a list of like the required books needed for class. And I didn't see the final book. Maybe I overlooked it, but I don't know. I just didn't see it. And I skimmed over that part of the syllabus because I was like, oh, you know, I looked at the bookstore, all my books are here. I did that ahead of time. I'm fine. Well, I started working ahead. Well, not really working ahead, but planning ahead for the next couple of weeks because, like I said, October is going to be very busy. I'm traveling quite a bit. There's a lot going on. Finals are happening. So I have eight week period classes, not 12. And yeah, I saw that I had one more book to read. And I'm just like, shit. I gotta buy that, like now. So I actually bought that from Barnes & Noble, paid full price for it, which I was like, ugh, don't really wanna do. But I did that anyway because I needed it. I couldn't wait for book depository. I couldn't wait like the two weeks because I need to read it next week. So that's one freak out that's done and over with. But this is the book they're reading now. I have to finish it this week. I'm currently on chapter 22. I actually have to get to chapter 23 today, but I'm probably gonna read ahead of that because I wanna try to get the third discussion board done today as well. I'm kind of pushing out my classes. But I really want to get my classes done Monday and Tuesday and then have the rest of the week to do whatever it is I want to do or work ahead in my classes, like work on the finals and stuff because it is something that I'm slowly kind of freaking out about a little bit because they say eight-week classes, but the finals are due during the eighth week. And for two of my classes, I have finals due on that Monday of the eighth week. So it's not really an eight-week class. It's really a seven-week class plus the eight week to get your grades back. So at the very end of the eighth week, you actually get your grades back and I'm like, wait, that's not really an eight-week period. Then it's like a seven-week period with like a one-week waiting time to do like late work and also get your grades in. It's hectic up here, always. It's always hectic. But back to reading. I'm loving this actually. I'm really enjoying it. I just read three, no, two chapters just now. And I've already done one discussion board on this. So I have that much to read today. Yeah, that's gonna be lovely. Although it is a really good book. I actually watched the Netflix series that is based off of this and it's really, really good. I highly recommend it. Like if you don't, don't know if you want to read this, watch the Netflix series. It is so good. It, and as I'm reading it, you can actually see like lines that were picked right out of the book. And there's also like letters from like the doctor because it's based on Grace Marks, the murder, the murderess as she is called. And her telling her story, her life story, to Dr. Simon Jordan. And he's basically studying her and trying to see whether or not she, she's actually mad and seeing whether or not she's innocent. There is, like, poems in here from, like, famous writers about, like, the trial of Grace Marks. So the, the focus is on Grace and this doctor and kind of, like, the effect the story has on the doctor. And it's also written in two different point of views. It's written in first person when we're talking about Grace. When Grace is telling her story, it's in first person, but Simon's parts are actually in third person. So that's really interesting, like seeing the disconnect. And also, even though we're reading through Grace's point of view, I still feel like there's so much we don't know. And just because she believes what she's saying doesn't actually mean that's the truth. So there's just a whole lot of mystery surrounding it. And I'm like really, really invested in this right now. And I'm glad that I like least one of the books in my only class like this much like all the books were great they were fine and Medea was awesome by the way but 
I just kind of also felt this disconnect, this like rushed feeling while having to read it. Well, this one, I don't mind picking it up. I'm actually choosing to pick it up more often than I am Shadow Knight. Yes, I am still reading this. I'm so disappointed in how long it's taking me to read it, but because I'm balancing like so many other things and so many other thoughts and projects, I'm just kind of not getting to this every single time I need to read. I actually pick up Alias Grace because I know I need to get it done. And this is a, a really thick book. There are, I want to say, oh, girls, my cats are running around. Sorry about that. I want to say there are like 40 some chapters in here. 53. Whoa, I was off. Yeah, there are 53 chapters in there and I need to get it done probably i think monday i think that's when it's due and then this i don't have obviously have a due date for so i'm just reading it whenever i'm still really enjoying it but i'm also having a problem reading this because i'm looking at it like a writer i'm trying to like piece together all this stuff and think about everything and i just want to sit and enjoy and read and i feel like my mind's just a little bit too hectic to pick this up i've also picked up the spiderweb chronicles again and i'm i say picked up but i'm actually listening to it i went on the libby app and I got the all the volumes right now I have volume one that I'm listening to but I do have the rest of the volumes on hold and it's like less than a two week wait for those so I'm pretty sure I'll get them pretty soon and I'm really excited about it because I love the Spiderwork series it's like such a fun series to read and they're really short and they're just like it's something that I really needed like I just want to read something actually I want to listen to something while I do stuff around the house and I was looking at a bunch of different books that I need to read for or actually that I want to read for fall and October and like just kind of get me into that like spooky uh, autumn kind of Halloween vibe but all the books that I was planning on reading during October have a ridiculously long wait time like one was six months and I was just like eh, no so I may get those off audible but at the moment I'm just kind of waiting seeing how things work out so the spider chronicles is what I'm currently listening to while I do stuff which is great I love them I can't wait to get like the physical copies and see like all the artwork and actually read it but at the moment, I, that is something that I am listening to, which I actually started this morning while I was changing my sheets. So I got to chapter four in that. I'm going to continue listening to that when I fold clothes later today. And I also have on my library's personal app, I've also downloaded two other books, audiobooks, to listen to at some point. Because I'm also going to be traveling a lot in October, so I'm going to have a lot of time to like listen to stuff. Now I may be listening to stuff for school because I know I have two classes I'm taking in fall term B. And it's, I have creative writing fiction and British Lit 2. Now I'm only taking two classes because of the fact that I am traveling a lot in October and I just don't want to like weigh myself down with a bunch of writing classes. But I know in my British Lit class I have like six books, five, six books that I have to read during that time period. So of course I may be listening to that while I'm traveling. But I also... I'm hoping to pick up Macbeth, which is on my fall TBR. I'm going to listen to that. That takes like two, three hours, which is going to be great. I love listening to Shakespeare more than actually like sitting down and reading it. Like on one side when I'm reading it, because I do have a physical copy, the copy that I do have like has translations and like these little parts about like the history and things like that. That's just, it's really interesting. But I also feel like it's a lot easier listening to Shakespeare because of how the narrator and the actors like pronunciate things and how they express things through like the tone and it just kind of makes it easier to infer what things actually mean and like what's going on in that scene and then I have Wikipedia which is about witches and Wikipedia provides a fresh innovative thoroughly up-to-date look on witchcraft and gives listeners a prescription for happiness spiritual life coaches and cel cel the celebrity witches Sean Roberts and Leanna Greenaway unlock the secrets of the Wicca universe so I just figured that'd be like a really cool thing to listen to because October's coming in a week and that is something that's been on kind of like my Goodreads TBR for a while I think. So if I listen to it, I listen to it. If I don't, no big deal. It's just something that I had there just in case I have the time to. <sighs> I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to talk about really quick because I'm not sure if I'm going to be checking in later today. I have like so much I need to do. Hey guys, so my camera actually cut me off. I'm going to try to edit out and see like what I can do so it's not like as jarring. But it's actually 8 o'clock now after my camera cut me off. Uh, the memory card filled up by the way. I decided just to do some work. I did my discussion boards. I did a, I did a lot today. It was really fulfilling. I was super happy with that. Today has just been a really productive, great day. After that, my parents and I went walking. We're trying to 
get into the habit of exercising again and we're planning on going someplace for October which is going to involve a ton of walking so we're also just trying to get like get used to that. I have made it to chapter 24 and I'm really enjoying it. I do want to read like two to three more chapters tonight because I do have to get a good way through it like this week. Almost finish it if not finish it this week. Yeah, I'm going to see how far I read tonight, but I've been reading most of the day. I'm trying to think about tomorrow, like what needs to get done. I may cut out a chunk of time tomorrow to try to get as much reading in as possible, but I do have to like look over everything I need to get done and make sure that that's a smart move. Um, I also need to go through a bunch of my SD cards backup stuff and clear them out so I don't have to worry about like, not having an SD card ready when another one fills up. So that's always a little bit nerve-wracking because I just I hate the idea of losing something like losing a booktube video, losing a vlog, you know that doesn't really bother me that much but losing memories like pictures of the animals or you know family stuff you don't you can't you can never get that back. You you can never relive that birthday party or that moment. So the, those are the things that I'm like really worried about losing. So I'm gonna go through a bunch of my SD cards again, make sure everything's backed up, make sure I have copies of the copies, and then format all those SD cards. And uh, that's a little terrifying to me. But I will probably be doing that tomorrow. I actually went to the grocery store today and they have like so many cool like fall treats and all. And I got... So Bootastic Oreos, I am not like a, a huge Oreo person and honestly I didn't want to get this huge thing either. Like if they had like smaller ones I'd buy more of them because I don't eat Oreos like big chunks of Oreos. I just eat like two or three here and then a few weeks later another few. So I'm going to be leaving this off my brother and I to share but yeah I just I couldn't help it. I, I love Halloween. I love everything about it. I love the treats. I'm like such a fanatic when it comes to that. So I was like I had to get these. They're so cool. I also got these little cake things that I've already opened and started eating. I'm probably gonna have another one now because I just I really want that. I'm actually currently watching Bones. I'm almost finished with season two. Oh my god, I love this show. Like, I know everything that's going to happen in this episode, but I really don't care. I'm just here for, like, the relationship. I'm here for Booth and Brennan and uh, Angela and Hodgins and there's all that. <sighs> Super excited. Oh, I've also reached book two of Spiderwick, the Spiderwick Chronicles. I love that series. I cannot wait. Oh my god. I cannot wait to get the physical copies. <sighs> it's just such... A good book. I love it. Fantastic. Yeah, so today has been busy, but great. Lots of reading done, thankfully. So that is all for Monday. I will be checking in with you guys tomorrow and let you know whether or not I read tonight and also what is going on tomorrow and what my plan is. Hey guys, it is Tuesday. It's actually almost 8 o'clock. I almost forgot to check in today and sorry for the weird lighting. I'm actually using my ring light, which is like a head, two heads taller than me. So I look like I have like some really bad dark circles, which I probably do. I always have dark circles. But anyway, today has been weird. Like it actually hasn't been weird. It just, it's felt weird. I woke up and it was just, it's like this today just feels off. It just feels odd. Um, I did spend most of my morning catching up on my reading this. I only read two chapters last night. I'm now on chapter 34. I have to read 10 more chapters by Friday. Oh my God. So I have to read this. Huh this much by Friday although I do want to read more of that I want to see if I can finish it this weekend even though today's felt odd I got a lot of shit done um like I said I read a lot of this I want to say like I read four chapters maybe and I got a good chunk of this done I also did two of my discussion boards today I did my poems assignment for my creative writing class which was like really kind of terrifying for me I did like I'm fine reading poems and like trying to analyze them but writing them the only ones I can write are like haikus. So I was just like, huh, I, I don't know if I did it right. Hopefully it goes through okay and I'll get like a crappy grade. Like a C is fine, honestly. With poems, I'm like, you know what? I will take a C. Anything lower than that, I'm going to be kind of a little upset. But hopefully she gives me good feedback if I do get a bad grade. But I haven't really read anything else. I actually spent most of my morning reading this and focusing on my middle night class. Uh, so that was probably another reason why I felt odd because I was just taking like so much time to read. Like normally I don't have that much time, especially when I have like schoolwork to do. 
uh for the most part i want to say i'm done with school except for like my replies and everything uh that's stuff that i have to do like throughout the week but i can't really do that now because no one else has done the discussion board so like not enough people I have to do like two replies for each discussion board and maybe there's like only one other person that's done a reply i mean done the post but for the most part i'm done with school for the week which is great because now i can work ahead i can start working my finals and uh, get ahead of that because uh, that's going to be really stressful if I procrastinate. Uh, I did not listen to the Spiderway Chronicles, which I'm a little sad about because I've been really feeling that. I just really want to listen to it. So we will see tomorrow if that actually happens. Um, other than that, the only other thing that I'm going to be doing tonight is watching Bones and cleaning out some of my SD cards. I'm always I'm terrified of that. I procrastinated on that today because I knew I needed to get it done. But it just makes me feel so uneasy cleaning out SD cards and formatting them. I'm just like, oh my god, I hope everything's saved. That's something we have to do. Haven't really read anything else. Haven't really done that much. I did kind of start my writing journal today. So basically, I created a contents page for my writing journal. And then I just stopped. Like I couldn't quite figure out what I wanted to do. I kind of had that that fear, that blank page. So when I was doing my readings for my creative writing class, I just I hit me had this idea of creating kind of like an intro page, where I basically just write down like what I want to do in this journal, just to kind of fill up that first page to get that that first page all you know messed up and inked up and after doing that I felt a bit better it's basically just gonna be my messy journal filled with a bunch of ramblings and prompts and you know practices and whatever so tomorrow I have our class and then I have to run by the bank after that I don't know exactly like 100% what I'm gonna do I know I'm gonna have to keep reading this I might try reading some other stuff as well but I need to take a look at my to-do list and see like what I need to do I might be also taking like art notes and stuff because I have been doing some research on color theory and taking notes on that and I have started like a little bit of like an art journal basically I took an old crappy sketchbook and it is already fallen apart so I just like collected those pages and the best pages and I fold them up and kind of created like this little journal with those pages, kind of like you would do in uh, elementary school. So I started taking notes on color theory and that. So I might continue doing that since, you know, Wednesdays are kind of my, like my personal days throughout the week. Because I have my art class. And if I need to, I'll film on those days as well. So I think that's what may be happening tomorrow that isn't like reading related. Other than that, not much to report. Kind of a boring week so far. <laughs> So, I really don't have anything else to say. I guess I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Thursday. I didn't check in yesterday because I forgot. I listened to some Spiderwick and read some of Alias Grace. And I actually finished this today. Thankfully, I buckled down and I got the last couple ch chapters read today. And I highly recommend it to people that like historical novels and like mysteries. It was really cool. And one of the favorite books that I've read from my online class so far, I do have one more book to read. Uh, it's called like Pretty Monsters. And we're not going to read the whole thing. I think we're just reading these like sections out of it from what I can tell, which is great. But I... I'm really interested in like Grace Marks and kind of looking up more about the trials and like her and like what actually happened with this stuff. Like I know the entire thing's really a mystery because she never really confessed outside of the trial and I don't really know what happened to her after she was released but I just kind of want to look up some of the trial stuff and see more about like what happened and not be and not just taking it from like the book because it is fiction so I think she may have manipulated some things to kind of fit the plot but I just want to like look up more about Grace and what happened and see like what I can find out about this because it was really interesting. But yeah it's Thursday and every Thursday I kind I had that moment of oh my god it's almost Friday not like in an exciting way but wow my week's almost over kind of way <sighs> it's just it's so it's weird I basically I finished my stuff this week for school and then I did a bunch of like little like chores and things like that I didn't really do like too much besides reading so I just really wanted to finish that book for school so I have like some of next week free because I need to finish my finals next week um, I also put all of those prompts for the finals in Google Docs and then I can start working on that tomorrow a little bit 
and try to get some of my focus back because today it's been all over the place. I have decided for like my personal history project sort of thing because I really want to just learn more and I think I'm going to be focusing on history to start off. I am going to be focusing on witches and like witch trials and things like that and just like do a bunch of research on it. So I have an old notebook where I ripped out everything in the front of it. I think it was an old science notebook and I have that so I'm going to start doing some like notes on documentaries and things that I've read and then I also have that like Wikipedia book and I'm going to be, when I listen to that I'll also be taking notes on that. So I just kind of want to do that side project a little bit to, tomorrow as well if I make time for it. Uh, this weekend I'm going to be filming some Halloween videos my channel. I'm really excited about that and yeah, that's basically all I got planned. We listen to a Spiderwick song tonight, maybe. Don't know. I'm gonna be working on like one of my art projects. And I'm also gonna hopefully read some of The Hunt for Atlantis as well as Shadow of Night. I really wanna finish <laughs> Shadow of Night before September ends because I have been like, oh my god, I've been trying to get to that book for so long. It's a it's a really good book. I just haven't made time to read it. So I don't even think I'm halfway through it yet. A little disappointing but hopefully that will change this weekend if I make time to read it. Other than that my summer TBR is basically a bust. I haven't read, I haven't finished a book on my September TBR. A little sad about that. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this week. I mean, I finished one book. I started Spiderwork Chronicles, which I love and I'm enjoying. I'm also planning on reading some of Shadow of Night tomorrow, which is going to be great. I've got all my schoolwork done early and then I can film. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to film tomorrow. I think I'm just going to film Saturday like I originally planned. And yeah, so far everything's going pretty well. So that's all I really have to say tonight because I kind of want to work on stuff. And I kind of feel like these videos are a bit bland because I don't have like a, a lot of b-roll but at the same time I feel like adding too much b-roll makes it boring. So I don't know like what I'm going to do. I might add some stuff in for tomorrow. We'll just have to see. I really don't know what I'm doing with these reading vlogs. I feel like I just sit in front of my bookshelves and give you guys reading updates and that's basically it. But I also feel like it's kind of boring so just let me know if you guys have any ideas like of certain things you want to see certain things I want me to talk about because I'm kind of like I feel like I'm in a rut here with my reading vlogs and I feel like I need a little bit of help getting out of it so any ideas you guys have feel free to let me know I'll be checking in with you guys tomorrow and I will hopefully get some more reading in hey guys so it is actually Saturday oh, it's I believe almost two o'clock it has been it has been an interesting day so I just filmed two videos two Halloween tag videos and I am about to clean up and put a bunch of my books away. So I figured I would talk to you guys while I'm doing that and cleaning up. Okay, so I have no idea, especially if the last video turned out well. There is a good chance that next weekend I'll be refilming all of that because of my cats. I love my fur babies. I really do. But they drive me crazy. Uh, Lilo kept messing with my tripod and scratching on her scratching post. Actually, not in the scratching post. She scratches on my door frame, which is a whole mess and it's just I have no idea if they turned out very good at all and then there was a mix up with questions because the Halloween book tag there were actually two there's the one that's on booktube and there's the one that's like follow, like around the blogs so I almost did the blog one for my video and so I started watching some videos on YouTube and I realized that they were like different set of questions so I'm going to be doing two Halloween book tags on my blog and I'm going to be doing the booktube one on my YouTube channel. There's another tag video that I want to do all hyped for Halloween book tag and I was going to do that today actually but then towards the end of my video just now the cats are like losing their shit running around almost knocked over one of my lights kept messing with my tripod so I was just like nope that ain't gonna happen today and I was a little disappointing because I really wanted to get as much done as I could with videos but you know what sometimes it just doesn't happen and i guess that's fine but it also kind of irritates me and i complain about, this has happened before like a couple of times and i've complained to my mom about it she's like why don't you just lock them up in your bedroom well because my bedroom and the room that i'm filming in now share a door and you can still hear them scratching and meowing and making a ton of noise in the background and it's just like sometimes they don't do this sometimes they just sit nicely and they relax and they're just they're fine and then there are times that they lose their shit like today 
Okay, well, uh, so for the rest of the day, I'm actually going to stop for lunch because I'm starving. I've been working on my blog and trying to get all the tag questions and everything done. And my cat's now missing one tripod again, as you guys can probably see. So yeah, I'm going to stop for lunch and then I'm going to start working on my blog. I think I've copied and pasted all the questions onto all the tags that I want to do this month. I need to catch up on my blog, my poor blog. It always gets pushed to the side between Bookstagram, Booktube, my art classes, my schooling, reading in general. Uh, it's just, it's a lot. A lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of stuff that doesn't get done. So yeah, that has been my day so far. Um, I got a late start in the morning because I was talking to my family. I had to make an appointment for one of our, our dogs. So I had to get up and make sure to get that call in right when the vet opened. And then today, like I said, I'm going to be working on my vlog some. I'm not going to edit these videos until tomorrow. And there's a good chance that's not going to happen tomorrow either. I'm, I just like want to get them out soonish. But yeah, I'm a little disappointed. And I'm hoping that the video has turned out okay. And I can like edit out everything. Because I kept stuttering because, you know, the cat would run. And they hit like the cord. And when the, the lights shifted and I kind of like stopped. And I was like, Ugh! are you going to fall over? And then they would, it was just one of those things where I just kept, I kept stuttering because of everything that was distracting me, everything that was going on around me. Other than that, I think I did a fairly good job video wise. I mean, most of the time I stutter a lot and I have like a bunch of like mess ups because I'm not comfortable in front of the camera. But I think vlogging a lot has helped me with that because I think I've gotten a bit better with my videos. It makes it easier to edit them. But every once in a while I have one of those moments. I also need to do some video planning today and I also need to plan next week for school so the all hype for halloween book tag was a tag that i just recently found on when i say modern writers blog and i need to copy and paste all those questions into those and have that ready for next weekend when i film i also plan on doing a witchy books recommendation video as well as a paranormal book recommendation video so i had to go through all of those and pick a bunch of the books off my shelves and see like what I want to add to those lists. And it's already two o'clock so I feel like my day's already already disappeared. Oh and for the actual reading update of this reading vlog, I finished volume one which is books one and two of the Spider Chronicles and I'm now waiting for volume two to come through. Volume three has already come through. It came through yesterday after I finished uh, the audiobook of uh, volume one. So now I'm just waiting for number two before moving on to three. I um, haven't really had a lot of time to listen to stuff at the moment. Like I haven't really been doing that much like moving around like I am now that would have me listening to things. Because most of the time when I'm just like sitting at my desk, I'm actually like working on something. Like I'm typing, I'm writing things down. And you can't really listen to a book while doing that. So I'm going to clean up my makeup, put these, put these lights away. My umbrella lights and then take a break for lunch and see what time it is once I get done eating. I may or may not be checking in later today. Okay, I am hoping this works out right. This is like my fourth time trying to film this check-in. <sighs> okay, so it is actually Sunday night. It is like 9 50 almost 10 o'clock and I realized I haven't filmed anything today I haven't like let you know what I've been reading and also doing like an outro if I look weird if I sound weird it's because I'm actually using my Nikon and I really don't mess with the settings because I have this camera set up for when my normal like filming videos on YouTube sort of thing whereas my Canon camera is for vlogging and that SD card is currently filled and I don't have any other SD cards put in there and I can't delete anything because I still need the stuff on the SD card. So that's why I'm using this camera now. So if I sound weird, if I look weird compared to the rest of the video, it's because I'm using a different camera and I don't want to change any of the settings and mess me up when I go to film later. I have changed my room around a little bit. I moved my bed and I, so far I'm liking it. I like the illusion that I have a bit more space and I think I'm going to keep it this way for a while and kind of just do a test run of it. But at the moment, I'm actually really happy with it. I haven't really been doing a lot of reading. I've been planning for next week, which is coming out to be very busy. And I don't think we will be getting a lot of reading done next week either, except for like school. But it is the start of October, so I'm really happy about that. And I'm hoping to get like bits and pieces in next week. I'm hoping to maybe listen to Macbeth because it's only like 
two-ish hours. But yeah, today I actually listened to Wikipedia, which is a book about Wicca. And so far it's not bad. I mean, I don't see it being a favorite of mine, but I had some interesting information. I just started it. I think I'm on chapter one. I didn't get that far in it. I was listening to it when I was uploading the videos that I filmed yesterday and doing like the initial edits of that. And then I also uploaded some of my reading vlog from this week and have done a bit of editing of that. So I didn't get that much in. I have a couple of days until I need to send it back to the library. But I mean, at this point, I'm just kind of listening to it because I think it's a bit interesting and I do need something to listen to while I'm like working around the house. It kind of make me feel a bit more motivated like I'm doing something. But besides that, the only thing that I'm probably reading is this, Pretty Monsters by Kelly Link. This is actually the last book for my Women Lit class. I'm not going to be reading all of this, just like parts of it. We have like four little sections that we do have to read and do discussion boards on. So I don't think that's going to take me too long. If I enjoy reading the stories, I may come back and read the rest of them later. But at the moment, I'm just not making reading the entire book a priority. But after this week, I am going to be done with classes. So I'm going to have like a week in between this semester, this term, and next term. So I'm hoping that I can get some reading in then because I do have a huge stack of books that I need to get through. But besides that, I really don't have any other reading updates to talk to you guys about. So I'm just going to sign off for the night and head to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section what you guys are reading, if you're enjoying it. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'll see you in a brand new video very soon. Mm -hmm.